Many of you have been requesting another video in the free software series. I know it's been a while, so here you go. To separate out the good from the bad, today I'll show you five free software for your Windows computer that are actually great. The programs covered in this video can help to increase productivity, security, and can help to make your computer run better. As always, these powerful free of cost programs don't have any viruses or malware and are well trusted. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. First up is Media Player Classic Home Cinema. This compact ad-free open source media player is great at supporting most of the common audio and video files just like VLC Media Player, which I mentioned in another video. Many of you said you preferred Media Player Classic over VLC because you said it played back certain files better. Quite honestly, in my testing, I've had no issues with either player. Media Player Classic is simple enough to use. You open up your media the same way you normally do, or you can just click and drag over a file from one of your folders and drop it on the player, and it'll start playing. It supports all Windows operating systems that have Windows XP or newer, and you have the options for 32 and 64-bit installers. If you're looking for a new media player that is lightweight and is better than what comes pre-installed on your computer, you can't go wrong with Media Player Classic Home Cinema. Up next is Glary Utilities, which may be the most suggested utility software mentioned in the comments of the previous videos. It's only available on Windows computers, and offers an excellent set of tools to clean your system and boost your PC performance. Now I'll give you a brief overview of the software. When you launch Glary Utilities, you have three tabs. One for overview, one click maintenance, and advanced tools. On the overview screen, it will show your boot time. To disable programs from starting up, to increase your boot time, you can select Startup Manager, here you have the options to enable or disable startup programs, schedule tasks, plugins, application services, and Windows services. A good rule is to not disable any program unless you know what it is, and to run System Restore before making any major changes to your system. Another great feature is the one-click maintenance. By selecting Scan for Issues, it will run a Registry Cleaner, Shortcuts Fixer, along with other options you've selected. In the Advanced Tools tab, you have several more tools for cleanup and repair, optimize and improve, privacy and security, files and folders, and additional system tools. There are so many features with the software, I could spend 15-20 minutes going over all the features. But to save you some time, I'd recommend checking them out for yourself. They do offer a pro version with additional features that may be worthwhile for some of you, but for most, the free version will be all that you need. If you have a Windows computer, Glary Utilities just may be the best all-in-one solution for your PC. Now I'll show you Greenshot, which is a free and open source screenshot program. To say that the screenshot functionality built into most operating systems is limited would be an understatement. Greenshot allows you to capture a full screen, an open window, or even capture a region of your screen, and once it takes a screenshot, gives you a ton of options. Let me demonstrate. Here are the keyboard hotkeys, which I use, that can also be changed. Holding down the control key and the print screen key at the same time allows you to capture the full screen. The alt key and print screen key allow you to capture a selected open window. And to capture just the region of the screen, all you need to hold down is the print screen key on your keyboard, which I will do right now. Now I'll click and drag an area for the screenshot. And then let go. Now I have several options, including saving. You can have it open directly into the screenshot editor or one of the several programs, including Microsoft Paint. You can also upload to Imager. I prefer to open in the Greenshot image editor, so I'll do that right now. In this screen along the top, you still have the options for saving, opening, and uploading. Along the left side, you have several options for marking up your screenshot including drawing an arrow. You can add a text box. Type in whatever you want or change the size and all those options are here at the top. Add a speech bubble. And type in whatever you want inside the speech bubble. And a highlighter for highlighting certain text. When done, 
You can save directly to your PC. And you can save in several formats, including JPEG and PNG. Greenshot is completely free for Windows users, and for $1.99, you can get it in the Mac App Store. Up next is Defragler, which is my preferred defragging tool for computers with hard disk drives, and it's far superior to the Windows built-in defrag tool. I won't spend a lot of time on this one. Defragler takes the fragmented files on your computer and reassembles them to speed up your PC. It's simple enough to use. First, you select your drive. If you want, you can benchmark your drive by selecting Benchmark Drive. You could select Analyze to see if your drive does need to be defragged. And when you're ready to get started, just select Defrag. Depending on the size of your drive, it could take hours to complete the process. Defragler does have an option to optimize solid state drives, but I wouldn't bother since defragging has little benefit and can shorten the lifespan of an SSD. If you're like most and you're still using a hard disk drive for your computer, give Defragler a try. Last but not least is Unchecky. Many times while installing software, these installers try to bundle in unwanted programs. It doesn't occur as much as it used to, but it's still annoying. Unchecky is great. It'll automatically uncheck those offers unrelated to the software you're installing, so you're not as likely to miss one of those checkboxes for unwanted software. Also, it'll warn you if you're about to allow unwanted programs to install. I'll demonstrate by installing this media player. So far, so good. Now I'm to a screen that wants to install additional software, something called Screen Snapshot Pro. Now I'll go down and select Accept. Now I get this warning from Unchecky that says by clicking this, you may install a program you didn't intend. So I'll decline. And got another one here for Good Game Big Farm. I'll go down and accept, and I get that same warning, so I'll decline that. Unchecky is a great little program that runs in the background that just might save you from installing unwanted programs. That concludes this list. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if any of it was useful to you. Let us know in the comments if you use any free software that so far in this series has not been mentioned that you think others would like. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and then click on the bell notification icon for the latest free software and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.